welcome back so today we'll be talking about managing subscriptions and role based access controls so coming to the objectives the task one that we're going to perform here is implementing management groups the second one we're going to create custom role based access controls and the third one is assigning these uh, airbag roles to the users so initially we have to create uh, the management groups for that we have to go to management groups so this is the one so click that and initially you'll be seeing this but uh, for me when i enter like this was the initial uh, dashboard for me so you can see here we uh, it says that you are registered as an uh, directory admin but do not have the necessary permissions to access the root management group so for that to solve this we have to go back and we have to click azure active directory click that and here under properties under manage you can see the properties and uh, under properties you should make sure that it, it is yes so when you click s yes, this issue will be solved so i can go back here and uh, it will be solved and next let me show you the architecture diagram for that so this is the architecture diagram that we're going to implement today. So under this tenant, we'll be having our uh, management groups. And uh, under this management group, we'll be having our subscription. So if you see the, if you see here, you can see under tenant, we only have the subscription. So before that, we have to create uh, the management groups. So if you talk about management groups, the management group contains one or more subscriptions. So it has the ability for that. And you, uh, inside the subscription, there will be multiple resource group. And inside this resource group, you'll be having multiple resources. And the management groups allows you to organize your subscriptions and apply governance controls such as Azure policy and role-based access controls uh, to the management group. So seeing that, we let's go ahead and create one. So click the create button and you can see we have management ID and management group display name so let me copy the names from the github so, if I copy. so this is the management group ID and uh, this is the name for that click submit So well, it's taking some time. Once it is done, you can see this diagram. This is how will it will be showing. So under this tenant, we'll be having. Uh, you can see it has been refreshed, and uh, we have to include the subscription inside this management group. So. If I go back here, if you click the management group and right now we don't have any subscriptions inside this, but however, we have a subscription um, under this tenant. So if I add subscription and uh, yeah, just click save. So now you can see under this management group we have our subscription so if i go back to the management groups you can see now let's so now you can see under this tenant group we have a management group under which my subscription is there so this is how you can create the management groups so coming to the task two we have to create uh, the custom rbac roles so for that, let me go back. Let me click the cloud shell here. And here I need to upload the files. So to upload the files, this is, uh, you have to click this and you can see an option here, upload and download. So you have to click upload and upload the JSON file. And then you can use appropriate commands to create the custom role. So before that I have to go to the 
is it fine with lab i need to download it lol okay so i think i have not downloaded it so let me download this one so if i go back here let me unzip the files before uh, extract done so it's been it's done so let me go to the location here and not here so it will be in this labs and uh, the location for that is 02 if I click 02 and we have a json file here so click that so this is the json file for creating the custom role for support request uh, contributor so if we talk about custom roles so usually uh, there will be uh, there will be a building roles so if those particular built-in roles doesn't satisfy your job uh, roles then we usually create these custom roles so you can assign these custom roles to users groups or service principles at the management groups subscriptions and even the resource group scopes so this is how you can uh, create using uh, the json file so if i go back here you can see under the management group this is the management group that has been created and under the subscriptions you can see here we have a subscription id so here we have to replace uh, our id my as a subscription so if so once i copy it let me click that and uh, let me replace it and save it's done so if i go back now i can uh, upload the file the custom role definition files and uh, if i click here and use the file so it has been uploaded to view the files so i can click ls and uh, i believe the name is custom role so you can see here custom role it has been uploaded and now we can uh, use the commands so going back to the cloud shell so let me the copy the custom role definition and uh, add here so this is the command for that so just click enter and it will be done you can see it has been successfully created now we have the custom role called support request contributor so this is the custom role so if you see the architecture we have completed the task one where we have created our management groups and task two where we have uh, created the custom rule definition so that's it for now in the next lab we'll be creating uh, the user and add the role so hope you guys understood the concept if you have liked the video please, please click like button below and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you